Hey, how you doing? Chuck Englert, Spring Piston Rifle Fever. I want to thank every last one of you that have helped me make it to a thousand subscribers. Very cool. Uh, this afternoon, I'm going to talk to you more about this Hatson 95 and something very, very important for you Hatson owners to know about. So, my breech seal came to me all beat up. So, I'm going to try to show you what I want to show you, uh, what to look for. Uh, in your hats and 95 and possibly the 125s. I don't know if they have this in there, but on the inside in the transfer airport hole It has this little nut right here. I'm hoping this camera is picking this up so And It has a way to screw it in there Mine was loose and that's why it destroyed the the uh, breech sill so it's, I'm hoping that the camera will pick this up. I don't know. I'm just trying really hard. But it's it's right in there. I got a hold on this. <laughs> it's right there where the problem is. So I screwed it in yesterday and it already backed itself out a little bit. So what you're going to want to do, you probably really should get a Q-tip, but I'm just going to see if I can stick this paper towel in there. I might have to get a toothpick, not toothpick, but a Q-tip and clean it out and I'm going to blue lock tight that and screw it back in there So I got to screw this paper towel <laughs> Better see I improvise stuff Former jarhead here So you're going to want to clean it out pretty decent because all that lube and stuff is going to be in there and it's going to help prevent your blue lock tight from uh, sticking like it should. You probably could even use some red Loctite in there if you wanted. I don't even know why they have this. It's a really weird feature. So I'm cleaning this out and I'm gonna clean off this little screw. You can see, like, like I said, it's hollow. So I don't fully understand why they just didn't make it one solid piece. But anyhow, you're gonna want to Clean this up as good as you can. Make sure you're not in deep shag carpet area. Something else you're going to want to do, uh, you're going to want to file it down a little bit because it was a little sharp and it was standing up just a little bit. So take yourself a little blue Loctite right here and put that on your threads and we'll screw it back in. So for you new air gunners out there that shoot are shooting spring piston and gas piston rifles, you want to get, get some blue Loctite and uh, for the hats in, these screws here seem to work really good. But down here uh, where the trigger is screwed in, it's it was loose right away. So you're going to want to put some blue Loctite on there. And I'll get it all around on the threads. And then you're going to want to drop it down in there. I wish I could show everything like I would like to show it. So it's sitting right there just like that. I'm hoping this is picking, the camera is picking this up. So this is really important if you don't know why your breech seals are getting gouged. So this one came all loose right away. Uh, Unfortunately, this is going to keep me from shooting for a day because you should really let your blue Loctite sit overnight and harden up. So I'm just kind of, I'm just, I don't, I'm hoping this is picking this up. I'm just kind of pushing that screw around. You probably could even use your finger a little bit. It's so loose, I, I can just use my finger. And I'm just using the end of this screwdriver to push it in a full circle. What I want to do is get it down low enough so when I close the barrel, I'm not clipping my breech sill. The breech sill is coming right across there like a cheese cutter and it's cutting it every time. Even this brand new breech sill that I got uh, is already gouged just a little bit. So I'm gonna give it a pretty hard little push right here on the edge. And I'm gonna fill in here. It's not too bad actually. I only can fill it, I think, because I'm pushing down on it. So I'm going to wipe all that junk out of there. You might want to 
uh, put a little bit of bluing on here on the end right in there you're definitely going to want to shoot your rifle don't leave it cocked too long one shot is not going to back that screw out but that's going to this is going to help prevent your breech seal from getting all screwed up uh, yesterday i actually was getting some pretty tight groups I'll put this in a safe spot right here And I just want to show you what I was getting down here. Uh, I hate walking around with the camera, but we'll just do it. You know, it wasn't super outstanding, but it was 10 shots. And this is just under 10 yards in here. So right down here at the bottom, 10 shots there, 10 shots over there. So all I'm saying is, is this rifle has potential. There was another shot group as I was adjusting the scope to get on target. It's, I don't know how many shots there. I was shooting many, many, many times over there. So once again, <laughs> thank you for uh, your subscriptions. I appreciate that. Thank you for your likes. Your encouraging words means a lot to me. Uh, like John from Wingman115, one, one, uh, I think it is. I'm sorry if I screwed it up. But uh, he said we're community, and uh, that's, that's super cool. We need community. While the world's falling apart, we need to pull together and love one another and support one another. So thank you very much. I hope that tip for the Hatson 95 or maybe even 125 helps you. And I hope you have a great day.